Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to check the accuracy of the Garmin Fenix 6X Pro. And we're going to do this by uh, running 5K two times. And both times we'll have two watches on each person. So uh, we can compare the data coming off the watches. So we're going to test the Garmin watches. We're going to run the same routes twice. Uh, it's the same watch, two different person. We'll check the heart rates, uh, the distance, the GPS. Check out the weather, it's, it's pretty stormy outside, so the rain's just stopped. We'll, we'll check the elevation. Go to run. I don't know much. Run. Find the GPS. GPS is fine, I'm not one of the watches. And that's it, GPS is fine on both. So, uh, let me tell you. So we're on 5K, and now we're gonna swap watches. Um, that's the first one there. And then, that's it. We're going on the exact same course, 5k again. Uh, except with stopwatch. Watches. The weather hasn't really changed much. Still very cloudy. Some of the routes we run kind of under the trees here and there, so that could affect uh, GPS accuracy, I guess. So it's going to be 10k in total, 5k twice, and two different person. Keep them tight. Let's see how quickly we find the GPS uh, signal there. Yep, same way. We use different data fields. I prefer the 8. It's the signal there. Oh, there's GPS on one of the watches. The other one's still looking. And that's it. So we finished the second 5k. Um, So this is the side-by-side -side comparison of the two data fields from the Garmin Connect app. This is the first screen you can see, um, the map down the bottom, they uh, look, they look uh, identical, there's not much difference in there. The time, 24.50 and 24.49, one second's difference, the distance, both watches were stopped and started and stopped pretty much in the same time. 5.01 mile or kilometers and 5.08 kilometers. There were some uh, issues in the first run, it seems. The average pace um, was 4.57 minutes per uh, kilometer on the on my brother's watch. Both of the watches were on me on the first one. This is the first one at twelve from at twelve twenty seven, and on my watch it was uh, four fifty three. It's um, yeah significant enough difference. This is the most inaccurate uh, reading I ever got so far. Um, we run together usually, so I compare the Strava account. You can do that. Um, you can find me on Strava, and uh, you can look back my previous runs and. And compar comparisons so the elevation gain is five meter um, difference and remember both watches right hand left hand you know on, on one person so five meters yeah that's ten percent off so in the second data field we find the uh, average pace again for uh, 57 and four four fifty three on my watch um, average moving pace is a bit off too. The best pace also 4.33 and 4.19. Uh, Average speed is pretty similar. Moving speed 
total time. Total time, funny enough, works out the same. I think uh, Garmin auto corrects it, you know, when it recognizes the two person running the same time, in the same route. Moving time is exactly the same. Elapsed time, one second, no point, one second difference point. Average heart rate. Now, the heart rate uh, seems to be spot on. It's uh, max heart rate 156 in both watches, and average heart rate 139 in both watches. Their data field, uh, it's a lapse. It's, um, yeah, it's, this is the worst I've ever seen. But as I said, you know, the, the conditions were not ideal. And some of the parts where we were running under the trees, um, it's not in between trees. One side, there's a road and, and we run in the city. Seeing that there are no, made no big buildings in the, in the city. So, um, yeah. So the first, uh, first key is seven seconds difference. That is a lot. The, the second one is also four seconds uh, difference. The third one is uh, 10 seconds difference. And then one second, the fifth one spot on. So yeah, that uh, it's interesting. So the last data field of the first run is, uh, this gives you the pace and the, the heart rate. So this is where the problem was in the first uh, run. I assume it lost a uh, GPS. It's roughly halfway over, uh, over halfway through. I'm thinking there are actually um in the second K, there aren't anything drawing there. It's not the it's not the part where where we have the trees. So it's pretty much out in the open. It was very cloudy and it rained as well. But yeah, this is um, the heart rate's very good. Even though it actually rained, but the pace um, pace was off. So now we uh, take a look at the second run. So on the second run, the the time complete time um, we run a little bit faster. It was um, pretty much spot on. Distance is the same. On the map, it's um, it shows you the route perfectly. We run the exact same course. Second data field of the second run. As you can see, the average pace for uh, 43, 441. Very close. Average moving pace 441, 440. Best pace, um, best pace is off. Interesting. 333 and then 4. Hmm. Average speed is pretty much the same. Moving speeds uh, exactly the same, same. Maximum speed was off a little bit. I guess it's not that important. Total time. Two seconds off, moving time, spot on the same, elapsed time, two seconds difference, heart rate, and now this is on my uh, on my brother, average heart rate 153 on uh, his watch, and what, um, I think it's, uh, no, it's on my watch, or is it, I'm not even sure, 153 and 154, and max heart rate 170, 173. So now we look at the laps and, uh, of the second run. Um, 510, 510, spot on. 545, 544, very close. The third one, uh, there wasn't a bit of issue there too. It seems like the both runs, the problems kind of came up on the, on the, in the middle of, the, of the both runs. So 432 and 424. The fourth run, 437, 47, exactly the same. Fifth. K is 430 and 435 so yeah very close very close the second one was definitely um, closer and finally the uh, heart rate and pace graph the heart rate uh, 153 154 average heart rate 170 173 maximum heart rate and the pace is uh, the average pace is nearly spot on 443 441 and uh, the best piece is uh, 30 seconds off so you look in the so now to look at the activities on Strava this is the I'll look at the first one first this one's the first one which was off uh, well according to Strava it was only uh, five seconds off and the time is the same distance is a little bit off there too and then the second one was nearly identical 
5.04k, 5.0.43k, and the pace 443 and 441, and the time is a second difference. So in conclusion, people generally criticize smartwatches for not being accurate. Um, the heart rate sensor is not being accurate. In this case, the heart rate seem was nearly identical and spot on. It was, um, it seemed to be very accurate. And that, that's what I find so far compared to the previous watches I used. Um, the GPS was a little bit off here and there, but, but we're talking seconds, four seconds, an average pace and uh, 15 or 20 seconds and uh, over a 5k distance. It's nothing major. Um, these are very, uh, very good watches. Seems to be uh, very accurate too. And, and most of the data is very similar. So, yeah. I hope you uh, enjoyed the video and find it useful. If you did, please subscribe and hit the like button and see you in the next video.